Hi, this is Dave with Dave Created. In my last video, I made an elf bowl that I could put my elf soup in. No, not soup made out of elves, but a soup that would be something that elves would eat. Well, after I finished my bowl, I noticed I only had a metal spoon. And I need a wooden spoon that would be more fitting for my elf soup. And so today, we're going to make a wooden spoon for my elf soup. Let's go. Now I like the size of this spoon and so the spoon that I'm going to be making I want it to be about the same length so I'm going to use the profile of this as a template then I'm going to take it over to the bandsaw and I'm going to cut out the general template of the spoon before I draw the face of it. For the face of this spoon, I'm using a picture that I found on Pinterest for a spoon with a leaf on it because elves would have a spoon with leaves because they love the outdoors. I really like the way that this one looks, although I need it to be a little bit larger than the picture that I printed off. So I'm just kind of freehand drawing that in there so it looks similar. It doesn't have to be perfect. After all, this is my spoon. Once I get this drawn on the wood, I'm going to take it over to the bandsaw one more time and I'm going to cut around that drawing to have a lot of the work done for me. It just saves a lot of time from carving that excess wood away with knives. In fact, a lot of wood carvers start off with uh, a rough out of the carving that they're going to do and they get that typically from the use of a bandsaw. Some people use lathes if they're making more of a rounded object. Some people use power carving to get it started and then they use knives after that. In this next phase of production, I'm just using a simple carving knife to round over the edges of the spoon handle. I picked out a few other gouges as well that will help me shape this spoon. It's important when carving these that you travel down the grain. You don't want to cut into the grain or else you're going to get big chip out. And so you're going to see me throughout this process turn the spoon back and forth quite a bit depending on where the grain is crossing over the wood at. A simple U-gouge makes light work of these leaf veins. No, it's not your gouge, it's a U-gouge. I mean, it's my gouge, but it's a U-gouge. Well, I think you understand.
When carving out the bowl, you have to do a little bit from each side initially so you're traveling down the grain. And then as you get the chips kind of centered in the middle, you come back across and cut cross grain to pull those chips out. It's a time consuming process, but the end effect looks really nice. I'm gonna take this spoon away and do some of the sanding on the inside of the bowl uh, off video because it takes a lot of sanding to smooth that out. And then I'm gonna finish it here with 220 grit sandpaper. Just kind of go over the whole spoon, looking for any spots where there's a little bit of chip out. For this last step, I'm adding boiled linseed oil. It's a food safe oil that will give the spoon a nice finish. And I use this on a lot of my wood projects when I'm done. I'll let it sit for 10 minutes before I wipe it off and put it to use. Now I can finally make my elf soup. It doesn't require me putting any elves in the soup. All I gotta do is cut up some vegetables, really. This time I've decided to add a few more things. And so I've got carrots, onions, sweet peas, some kale, that's supposed to be really healthy. And I think I've seen it in the video even. Uh, a turnip, just to add a turnip, because you never know what will turn up when you do that. And then I'm gonna put a little broccoli in it. I'm adding rice and a bouillon cube as well, just for some more flavor. And when I'm done putting all this in the pot, I'm gonna put it in the oven for 350 degrees for about two hours or so. This actually looks a lot better than I thought it was going to look, and it smells great. This is going to be amazing. Authentic elf soup made with an elf cutting board, an elf ladle, elf bowl, and an elf spoon. Finally, finally, after weeks. After all this, I think I am more like the dwarfs than the elves. If you've enjoyed this video and you've liked my other videos, please like, comment, and subscribe for more great content. Thanks and have a great day.